when you get a message on your cluster saying that the transmission is overheating, there's a couple different potential causes there. You could have a clutch fork sticking, which causes the clutch to slip and overheat. And you can also have contamination of the clutch. The input shaft seals may be leaking on it. Or, you know, maybe the clutch itself is just very worn out. Like this one, I feel it's shuddering really bad from a stop. Also, on the history on this car, it's never been replaced, the clutch. And it's got 34,000 on it. I mean, that's not a lot of miles in general, but this is a 10-year-old Focus. And the life expectancy of a clutch before potentially having issues is about 20,000 miles. That's usually about when they start shuddering pretty badly. But that's a topic for another video. You can mitigate the shutter. And I actually have a video for that. If you want a link for that, just let me know. I'll link it below. Anyway, back on today's topic, what I'm going to do is just drive it a few more miles and make sure that there is at least a clutch shutter or hesitation. And if there is, I'm going to quote replacement of the clutch, the forks, and the actuators, and I'll service the transmission fluid, and that will definitely take care of an overheating clutch. If it were a TCM issue causing the clutch to overheat, there would be electrical codes for the actuators. In that situation, I would have taken the upper and lower actuators, changed their positions, and seen if the issue transferred to the opposite clutch. And if it did, it's a bad actuator. Okay. And if it's um, if it didn't switch, then it's a bad TCM. I mean, double check your wiring, but usually it's one of those two. Let's accelerate here. I feel clutch shutter, definitely. It's not the strongest, but I've only put like two or three miles on this car. So once it warms up, it most likely will get worse. I will drive it some more here. If you just got uh, randomly got that clutch or transmission overheating message out of the blue with no symptoms, I would possibly ignore it the first time, keep driving it, and see if the issue gets frequent. Like if it occurs more than once, you get that warning message, then you have something that you need to look at. But if it just happened out of the blue one time with no codes, I would ignore it because it might have just been a fluke. It might have just been some clutch slippage. Could have been anything. These are quirky transmissions. Don't uh, freak out if you see that message one time. But yeah, this car definitely has a clutch issue and it needs a clutch to resolve that issue. And once again, I'll summarize. If you have the transmission over temperature message on your dash, on your Focus or Fiesta, the first thing you must do is check for codes, check for the actuator codes and resolve those first because that will cause the clutch to overheat. And once again, if you have an actuator electrical code, swap the upper and lower actuator positions and see if the issue transfers to the opposite actuator position. If it does, then it's a bad actuator. If it doesn't, then it's a TCM issue. If you do not have actuator codes and you don't have any codes or you have friction element apply time codes, something like that, then that's going to be a clutch and fork issue. You may have P07A3, P07A5 as a clutch fork issue code. Just in general, apply time range codes. And if you don't have any codes at all, once again, like this car, you may just have a general clutch failure or you may have input shaft seals leaking onto the clutch. Either way, you'll need a clutch, input shaft seals, the forks, slave cylinder, and I would go ahead and put the uh, two upper and lower actuators in as well while you're in there, absolutely. If you go on Amazon, I believe they sell the Luck Rep Set, which is a clutch and fork kit. And I've used that once before, and it and it was OEM parts, and they're in good, they were good parts. And I would I would tend to lean away from the aftermarket Chinese actuators on Amazon, just because I haven't tried them, and they're a lot cheaper. And there's probably a reason they're cheaper. I would get the OEM actuators. Okay, I hope this video helps somebody out. Thank you so much for watching. I've got a a lot of other focus transmission videos for you to watch and I've got a playlist on them if you scroll down on my my channel page there is a playlist for these focus transmission videos thank you so much have a great day good luck with your repair let me know if you have any questions I reply to my comments pretty quickly and I also have a Facebook group where you can ask your focus questions oh there's a strong shutter to either me or my community there so thank you good luck to you